switch to the PowerPoint. Okay, dear friends, uh, welcome to this online <coughs> event. Well, since you are online, you're not in Beijing and try to imagine what's the distance between your home or where you are sitting now to Beijing. What well, could be a thousand kilometers, two thousand or even 10,000 kilometers. And, and then imagine if uh, you're walking to Beijing, how long it will take. Well, it's hard to, to, to think, right, to calculate and how many stops you will make if, if you, you walk to Beijing by your feet. And then if I look at the example of a bird, this is a, a battle the gutways and it was a mark uh, by ring flag. It's uh, numbered with E7 and we use a tractor, a <coughs> satellite tracker. This is done by New Zealand scientists. I found that it traveled uh, 11,007 100 kilometers in eight days, no stop. That's very important. And then the next year in spring, it headed to the north and stopped in China. It's also, it traveled uh, 10,300 kilometers and then to North uh, Alaska. So this is uh, amazing, right? And we talk about life or biodiversity is really uh, interesting. And then think about this bird is connecting different about geo by geographic uh, region on the globe and also climate, also water cycle, right? So to protect uh, such a species and people need to work together. That's why we <coughs> notify there are different uh, flyways. Uh, by now, the scientists identified that there are nine different flyways and for China, we are locating at the East Asian Australian Flyway. And also there's a intergovernmental agreement. So this is a East Asian Australian Flyway Partnership. And now there are totally 939 partners, including 18 uh, governmental partners. And in to totally there are 22, uh, partner, uh, part 22 countries in this flyway. Uh, but only 18 at the moment are, are partnership. The, the next four uh, maybe will be the partners in the future. Besides uh, governmental partners, we also have other partners such as uh, uh, the multiple environmental agreements such as conventions, the Ramsar Convention, uh, the, 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 the <clears throat> Convention on Migratory Species and uh, FAO, other uh, UN agencies or regional initiatives such as uh, the uh, Azen Conservation Center for Biodiversity. Also, we have other NGOs such as WWF, you, you may know it is uh, famous. Also, we have uh, private sectors. Well, this is just only a sp small part of a global conservation family. Uh, we also have EVA, the <coughs> Africa Eurasia, uh, flyway convention is under CMS and also we have other regional initiatives such as the shoppers or waiters and we can see there are networks for conservation of migratory water birds and of course uh, you may see some species in the past like the spawn bill the sandpiper the global population is only 600 nearly 600 and if you know that the, the giant panda, very cute, right? It's globally endangered and people say it's a critical endangered in the past, but that population is 1864, the wild population. But this little bird is only, their weight is only near 50 grams. And it's uh, the global population estimation is only around 600. So this flyway, the partnership is try to protect all these endangered species. And of course, you want to speak, you want to protect a species, then you need to focus on their habitat as well. So there are more than 1,000 size uh, widely distributed in this uh, flyway, and also uh, globally protected areas such as the Ramsar site, and also we have flyway network sites. So this is uh, the partnership. So under this uh, partnership, we established this center for EF studies in Beijing Forestry University. And this is our group. 
it was funded in July 2018. But actually, this team uh, has a long history. It was established uh, uh, in the very beginning. It was 2008. And this is uh, the open platform for EEF studies for global wetland and uh, water bird biodiversity conservation. So we have the university and the university have the center. We have one board or council. Uh, it's a mutual, uh, the members of the, the council is consists of uh, multiple uh, sectors such as uh, government agencies and also different schools in our university and uh, in NGOs as well. Uh, for the uh, academic uh, community, it's very important. We have a top, lead, top or leading scientists in China. Uh, so the second one is uh, Professor Lei, and also we have academician Professor Chen Yu. Uh, <coughs> he is uh, worked in the wetland, uh, uh, wetland sciences in China, very famous. Also, we have uh, international board member, they are also guest professors to this center, such as uh, Peter Bridgewater. Uh, he used to be the Ramsar Convention Secretariat, uh, <clears throat> and also he used to be the chief of uh, environmental agency of Australia. And uh, Professor John Grace is a fellow member of uh, uh, Royal Academy of Science uh, for Scotland. He's a uh, very famous uh, in climate change. And we have uh, Professor Tunis Piersma, he's a Royal Academy member of the Netherlands. And he's uh, particularly worked on for migratory water birds. Dr. Wen Li is working in Australia, uh, New South uh, <coughs> Wales. Uh, it's uh, a natural heritage and environmental center. He's good at uh, mathematics. And also we have Richard Fuller, Dr. Richard Fuller uh, from uh, Australia. And also he is very famous uh, in uh, migratory water bird. So um, just remember Professor Tuna Sipirsuma and uh, Professor Richard Fuller. And then come to our office, uh, our center, we have uh, Professor Li Gongchun, he's a director. And he is also uh, the Luke Hoffman Medal winner. He's very famous for wetland science and conservation. And remember that if we go back three, uh, people, three professors in our group who won this uh, medal. One is Professor Tunas Piersma, the other is uh, Professor Richard Fuller. Um, and then this is me. I'm mostly working on habitat dynamics, wetland uh, ecosystem pro um, processes and particular areas. We also have other young um, <coughs> uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, professors uh, or, or scholars uh, let me see. Okay. And such as Dr. Jai Fei, he is a specialist in crimes and the showbirds, and Dr. Zheng Qing, uh, she's uh, in Anetity, and also uh, she's working as a EFP science unit. She's the coordinator. And we have Dr. Wu Lan. And so for the research field, we have a major four. One is migratory ecology, try to focus on endangered species and how to, to conserve them. The second one is habitat protection and restoration. This is not only uh, the habitat itself, but also attached to ecosystem services because we want to protect the species. You need to look at their habitats and also the livelihood in the uh, ecosystem. And then it's a monitoring technology. And it's not only a theoretical study, but will also have a technical and practical uh, studies, and uh, you will see some cases uh, in the next. And of course, international cooperation is very important for global conservation, uh, particularly when we are facing uh, climate change and global biodiversity conservation. These are some species you study on. On the left is a spawn billed sand piper, the very endangered uh, small bird. And then we have scaly cytomagenser, it's uh, very beautiful, but also endangered. Also, we have a boyer poacher. There are also pranks. We have many interesting endangered species uh, can study. Also, we use uh, new technology such as uh, intelligent uh, perception monitoring. And normally when we go to work, uh, you need to, uh, to go to uh, <coughs> field observation by your eyes and by your hands, but now we have a new text uh, such as use uh, satellite, track, uh, satellite trackers and then 
you know where they are. Remember the, the video we played? We just use trackers, then we'll know where they are at the moment. And this is a, uh, their flyway. And if we know where they're traveling, like some gates travel in a very short distance, only maybe 5,000 uh, kilometers, but some maybe uh, much longer, like seven, nine kilometers. And then you may analyze the gaps. Maybe they're not protected areas. Maybe they're very popularized or there are farms and people uh, maybe threat the, the <coughs> migratory water birds. Talking about the uh, center, we are also providing support to EFP. This is a governmental, intergovernmental agreement. We're providing the scientific support to the partnership. It's called the science unit of the secretariat. Uh, in the in the end of the year 2018, we signed an MOU with uh, the EFP Secretariat. And uh, here you can see Professor Lei, and this is me holding a microphone to organize the people squeeze in the picture. And for this, the science unit is providing um, scientific services to the people. So the first we maintain the database for the EF, and also we try to uh, <coughs> support the flyway uh, site network. This is like a training uh, or try to answer their questions. Also, we conduct the monitor and a review of scientific materials uh, in, in the flyway. Of course, we do a communication just like we are doing now. And there are multiple activities. And uh, of course, it's international uh, cooperation. And you can see these are activities we conducted. Uh, like uh, we work uh, in the, uh, uh, in the Siberia areas. Also, we work uh, with the DPR Korea. And of course, we work with Australia from the very north to the very south. Of course, this center is uh, under the School of Ecology and Nature Conservation. Uh, my colleague just introduced uh, the university and our school. So here, I just give a little bit the uh, details about the school. But there are 19 staff total in this school, and uh, there are 65 full-time faculty members. And the disciplines uh, we have in wildlife protection and utilization, uh, dendrology, uh, wet, uh, wetland ecology. This is exactly where my uh, faculty <laughs> and the nature is. Uh, uh, ecology. Uh, we have uh, forest ecology, microbioecology, and uh, meteorology. So we welcome a PhD student and a master student, a master degree student in ecology and the forestry sciences, as, a, as well as a bachelor degree uh, in wildlife protection and utilization and science of uh, protected areas. So for our center and our school, our mission is to try to uh, actively involving global environmental governance, try to provide scientific uh, support through theory and the technology studies. And so if you work here, uh, particularly if you are the uh, student uh, in the flyway countries, and then we can work closely, uh, you can even conduct a research at your uh, home, select the, your, your home site um, for research. And, uh, uh, we really uh, welcome you to hear. Uh, you are not only working with uh, Chinese uh, uh, scientists, uh, students, but you also work uh, with uh, global uh, <coughs> peers, global colleagues. So welcome to uh, our center and welcome to our university. Uh, if you have more questions, this is my email address. Um, thank you. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor Lu. Hello everyone, I'm Li Liang, Vice Dean and Professor of the School of Landscape Architecture at Beijing Forestry University. Thank you for joining us with a virtual orientation today. I'd like to give a brief introduction of the School of Landscape Architecture at BFU and our MIA program with full English. First, I'd like to talk about the landscape architecture of Beijing Forestry University. The first landscape architecture program in China was jointly established by the Department of Horticulture of Beijing Agriculture University and the Department of Architecture of Tsinghua University in 1951. Five years later, this program was moved to BFU 
and have been developed here ever since. Till now, it has grown into the center of modern landscape architecture education in China. At present, the LA School has formed a five-in-one academic structure centered on landscape architecture with architecture, urban planning, ornamental horticulture, and tourism management. In addition, we also have three design institutes and one research institute. The school has formed a platform for integration of teaching, research, and practice. A total of more than 200 universities in China have set up landscape architecture programs. Since the landscape architecture entered the national assessment system, we have always been ranked number one. We have a relatively complete curriculum and teaching system, which is widely referenced and used by other Chinese universities. At present, the School of Landscape Architecture offers uh, about 200 professional courses for students. BFU's undergraduate education built up a solid foundation for students. Taking BLA program as an example, we offer 47 courses for undergraduates, including 34 mandatory courses and 13 elective courses. Postgraduate education focuses on cross-discipline and creatively. We have formulated a modular teaching system with a total of nine characteristics modular courses. It includes landscape planning, design, history, society, ecology, art, planting application, architecture, and urban planning. The so education also places special emphasis on professional practice and social service. We offer a series of design studios where students can conduct practical projects research. The School of Landscape Architecture have 174 full-time faculty, including 38 professors, 78 associate professors, and 38 lecturers. 66 teachers have more than one year's experience in teaching, visiting, or researching abroad. The school has about 3,000 students, including 2,000 undergraduates, 800 master students, and 200 PhD students. The school partly has 56 international students, 14 of them are undergraduates, 34 are masters, and 8 are PhD students. Over 80% of them have received scholarship funding. For more than 60 years, the BFU Schools of Landscape and Architecture has trained more than 11,000 graduates. Many of them play a leading role in landscape architecture practice, education, academic management, and construction. Global vision in the direction was far had been striving for, especially in recent years. BFU's landscape architecture attached great importance to international exchange and cooperation. In 2018, the School of Landscape Architecture launched the first international assessment of landscape architecture discipline in China. It was agreed by world leading scholars that landscape architecture at Beijing Forestry University has ambitious goals and occupied a strong leadership position in China. BFU offers us the largest and the most comprehensive provision of landscape architecture in China. It's the only school in the world where landscape architecture is the lead discipline for landscape design, architecture, urban planning, regional planning. And it's the largest school in the world in terms of faculties and the students. Next, I'd like to talk about the Master of Landscape Architecture program at Beijing Forestry University. The International Student MRA program is dedicated to the 
cultivation of cross disciplinary professional with more leading skills in landscape architecture, ecological restoration, and related fields. The so program started in 2017 with English language. The main research area including landscape architecture history and theory, landscape architecture planning and design, landscape planning and ecological restoration, landscape hunting practice, and landscape construction and technology. The duration of the program is three years, and it requires a minimum of 36 credits to complete. In the first two academic years, students will focus on their core courses in design, history, theory, technology, ecology, and expression. In the third year, students will have opportunity to engage in LA design practice and academic research. Applicants of this program are required for education background in landscape architecture, architecture, urban planning, ornamental horticulture, environmental design, civil engineer, or related disciplines. If you have any interest in our LA program, please know that the application deadline for 2022 is May 31st. As limited time gaming, my introduction is coming to the end. Thank you for all your attention. I hope you find it useful for you. If you have any interest with our program, please follow our future notices. The faculty of the Landscape Architecture School always invites new friends to join us. I do hope to meet some of you in person at BFU in the future. Thank you for everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Wang Wang. I'm an assistant professor from the School of Soil and Water Conservation at State University University. So today, thanks to this special event, I'm going to give you some great introduction of our department and give you some more information about the programs that we offer for international students. So uh, the School of Soil and Water Conservation prepares a student for careers in the study of the characteristics and compositions of the natural and man-made ecosystems, including the soil, forestry, ecology, and, and you need to deal with some like land degradation problems, watershed management, etc. And the graduates are mostly work at organizations, co corporations, and the governmental institutions focusing on environmental protection, ecological restoration, and land planning. We have three main disciplines, uh, including soil and water conservation and the desertification control. Uh, the second one is geography, and the third one is civil engineering. So we have three undergraduate majors, four master programs, and one doctoral program. Uh, in particular, the soil and water conservation and the desertification control is a national key discipline and it has been always ranking the first among all the universities in China. Uh, the department has 1,588 full-time students, including about 900 undergraduate students and 680 graduate students. Uh, as you can see, uh, among our undergraduate students, about over one third of them are in our main major, soil and water conservation and desertification control. And for our graduate part, uh, most of the students are also in this discipline and only the soil and water conservation and desertification control offers the transfer program. Uh, we have a really big family. So there are 109 researchers, including uh, 87 tenured professors, about 30, including 34 professors, 33 associate professors, and 20 assistant professors. Uh, there are many world leading professors in soil science and the eco ecology in our, uh, in our department. As you can see, this is uh, Professor uh, Guan Jingwei, uh, she's a member of the Chinese, Chinese Academy of Science and she is the founding partner for the Three Now Shelter Bell project. Uh, this, is pro this, is, uh, this is Professor uh, Wang Lijian and he has been awarded the uh, Neiman Hepson Memorial Award. Uh, so he's really highly recognized in all of the world. Uh, 
And there are many other faculties. They have won many awards uh, in China. And uh, for all of our faculty, about 63% of them are in the soil and water conservation and the certification control. Uh, about the teaching part, uh, the curriculum provides a sound foundation in the basic science uh, while engaging in environmental related field of ecology, environment and resources. So as you may know, uh, soil and water conservation is a really a practical discipline. So the students in our department, they not only need to sit in the classroom listen to their teachers, but they also need to join us in some field work. The department has 11 field site stations, basically covers all over the geological and climate type of the soil and water loss regions in China. Uh, and for example, this Jixian Forest Ecological Station is located in the world famous Lawrence Plateau. I, I guess many of you may have noticed that it is the area that uh, the most severe soil and water loss occurred in all over the world. And it is a national, it is a tempor temporary uh, national, permanent national experimental site. So we have many equipment to monitor the characteristics uh, of the ecosystem. Uh, like the uh, climate tower, the uh, standard ground up plot, the water layer, uh, the permanent observation plot, the soil water content monitoring, and we have the tower to monitor the carbon water plant. Uh, we also have some indoor equipment to do the uh, experiments, like the rainforest simulation and the wind tunnel. Uh, based on our faculty members and the, uh, the, the field sites that we, pro uh, that we provided, the department has participated in many national level projects, such as the Green for Green project, the Three North Shutter Belt project, the Sichuan Tibet Railway project, and the world famous uh, Three Forges Sand project. Uh, from 2006, uh, the cumulative research funding is increasing remarkably in our department, reaching 443 million RMB. And during the past 10 years, we have great outcomes. The department published 565 ICI articles, with many of them are highly cited in the top journals in soil science and ecology, such as Global Change Biology, Water or Sense Reviews, the Journal of Ecology. And we have a lot of academic cooperations with the other universities and the research institutes of the world. Uh, based on our professional knowledge, uh, a lot of our faculty members have joined in the community service. For example, we have uh, participate in the local to guide the local part, uh, local government to do the reconstructions after the giant mass slide. and uh, many faculties have involved in the small watershed planning and the ecological restoration in Beijing. Uh, we also joined the ecological restoration of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games, and some of our faculty members, they have built their own team to join the comprehensive statistic research on the Qinghai Space Plateau. Uh, for the international student conservation, the School of Soil and Water Conservation uh, mainly offers two programs for international students, and they are all uh, graduate, they are all for the graduate students. Uh, so the first one is a doctoral program. Uh, the major is soil and water conservation and desertification control. It lasts for four years. Uh, you have to uh, finish about 20 credit hours of courses and to finish your dissertation. Uh, and the second one is a master program. Actually, it offers two major. The first one is soil and water conservation and the desertification control. The second one is forestry. The first three is a uh, professional major. So the duration is still three years and you have to finish about 33 uh, credit hours of courses and to successfully defend your thesis. Uh, currently we have 
three, 33 international students in our department, including uh, 16 master's students and 17 doctoral students. Uh, all of them have full scholarship. 26 of them have a CSC scholarship and the other seven students have Chinese local government scholarship. Uh, so let me introduce you a really outstanding international student. His name is Asfah Hassa. He's from Pakistan and this is him on the photo with his advisor, uh, Professor Jin Jin Jiao. He joined our, pro our department from the September of 2018 and he has published six really good articles during his doctoral study. He's about to graduate this June, so hopefully he can defend his, uh, he can successfully defend his uh, doctoral dissertation and send a good job. So why started in the School of Soil, Science, uh, Soil and Water Conservation at Beijing First Street University? First of all, we have really characteristic disciplines that we manage to deal with the natural resources uh, and the drivers of the changes in order to give, get more benefits from the ecosystem and at the same time help to prevent, uh, to protect our uh, environment from land uh, degradation and soil erosion. And we have world leading sites. Uh, if you come here, you can get in touch with many cutting edge research projects such as the carbon uh, sequestration, the ecological restoration, and the land degradation management, and the, uh, how to control the karst rocky desertification in the southwestern China. Uh, and we have a very friendly atmosphere here. Uh, we have a big uh, family of the students and of the faculties. Uh, there are some photos we are involving in the activities, like the sports meeting, uh, the performance, and the basketball team. So life, life is never going to be boring here. And finally, welcome to join the School of Soil and Water Conservation. Uh, my name is Guan Wang. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, this is my email. Thank you.